Hey, Uker Media family, Sergey Praknevsky here. And today I am super excited to let you know that our course on how to animate vector icons and logos in After Effects is out and you should definitely check it out by clicking on the link at the bottom of this video in the description area. By taking this course, you'll learn everything you need to know to animate this very simple vector copy icon and also our very own Uker Media logo. And really, this course is very similar to the session that I presented at the Adobe Max conference last month in Los Angeles. However, at Adobe Max, I only had an hour and five minutes to present the entire session. And this course ended up being two hours and 35 minutes, which means that I was able to add more content and also spend more time on certain areas. Since we're gonna be dealing with a vector icon and a vector logo in After Effects, it's a good idea that we learn about shape layers in After Effects first. So I'm going to start out by teaching you things you need to know about shape layers when you work with them. And after that, we're going to transition into animation in After Effects, where I'll teach you things like keyframe easing, keyframe velocity, speed graph, how to work with multiple keyframes, and how to use an awesome free script called Bouncer by my friend Tim Thiessen. And once we cover all the basics, and by that I mean shape layers and animation in After Effects, next I'm gonna show you how to animate a very simple vector copy icon, and I'm gonna guide you from the very beginning. I'm gonna show you how to bring it in from Illustrator into After Effects, how to set everything up in After Effects, and how to animate it using tools inside After Effects. Once you're done with that, we're going to do the exact same thing with a vector logo. So we're going to start out in Illustrator. I'm going to show you how to bring it in from Illustrator into After Effects, how to set everything up in After Effects, and how to animate the whole thing. So once we are done animating a vector icon and a vector logo, next I'm going to show you how to export both of them out of After Effects into something like a video file or an animated GIF. So we'll talk about things like Render Queue and Adobe Media Encoder. All right, well, this is the end of this video. If you wanna learn more about this course and if you wanna take advantage of our early bird price, you should definitely click on the link below this video in the description area and it will take you where you need to go. But in the meantime, my name is Sergey Praknevsky and thank you for your time.